My friends, welcome. It is Miss Rebecca with the Shaler Northville's Library, and you have tuned in to... There's a lot going on. Art. What do you mean? Here, I'm very excited. Yes, but there's not as much going on as, as it may seem initially. So I welcome you, whether you're here with intent or accident, either way, please join us. As you know, art is celebrating self-expression, whether through movement, stuff, or things. Miss Rebecca, yes. would you mind if I took a little detour since you said movement? Because, like, there's this young woman, and I've seen her all during our pandemic days. She may not want to be on a Facebook Live video. So. It's far away, and I've asked her before. Because I've talked to her. She's she an amazing rollerblader. Oh, I've and seen her. And she's so nice. But she's really good. Uh, I, I don't know what happened to her. But she's really good, and she said she just started. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I, I have rollerblades when I was a young Did you? I, I th thought it was very hard. I had trouble Dude, balancing. it looks really hard. She says it's a great workout. I'm sure it is. I'm yeah. sure my parents were not too thrilled when I just gave up the rollerblades. I know. I can't rollerblade. But, you know. Yeah. Well, my friends, so today we are going to... <gasps> Look at the art. Look at that. This is the art. That is really neat. My friends, so what you'll need for this art is you'll need a piece of paper. This piece of paper is white, but you know, as always, you use whatever piece of paper your super special grown-ups tell you you can use. Okay. And that's okay, because whichever works. And if you think about it, it's a cloud and it is raindrops, you are right, but the sky can be so many different colors. Yeah. So you don't Look need at it white. now. Yeah, you don't need a white piece of paper. It could be raining and cloudy during sunset or sunrise. It yeah. could be a purple or an orange piece of paper. Yeah, the, that's true. The, the options are limitless. So whatever your super special And it doesn't even have to be realistic. No, it doesn't yeah. have to be realistic. It could be like, oh, clouds and rain in Spideyverse. Yeah. You know. I don't know what that is, but uh, I follow you. Spider Man. Oh, uh, okay. Cool, cool. Yeah. So here's here's we're gonna we're gonna whip one up now. Other things you may need, but as always. Whatever your super special grown-ups say you are able to use, that's what you use. And that's yeah. okay. Yeah. Because you're making art, so it never needs to look just like that. It looks just like how you want your art to look. Do you know this one time hmm. I was doing a sermon about peace? And, peace. yeah, peace, like P-E-A-C-E. Yes. P -E -A -C -E. Mm -hmm. And I stumbled across these people in all different countries that take weapons and make them into art. And it was just beautiful. Like, so you can make art out of so many different things. Like, it was crazy how they took, like, you know, things. swords and other things and made them into, like, literally made their swords into plowshares. Like, it was incredible. Plowshares. Well, like, a plowshare? I didn't know until I did the sermon, but I've always heard it. Like, that's in the scripture. Like, it it's... Like it says like a plowshare is like is a plow that you like push like it, that's like it's part of it or whatever yeah. and like the one part of scripture says they will beat their swords into plowshares and that's like oh. what yeah and people literally did that and that was what one of the things was called they've been doing it in other countries like forever and they just started doing it in the united states like some people started doing it like really cool yeah beautiful yeah what an interesting fact. Sorry, I kind of want to. I'm so, yeah. I found that factoid far more useful and interesting than the tangent we went off on last week. That was rough. It was rough. Yeah. That was second. Well, that might have tied the parking lot art. Yeah. Ooh. Don't go back and watch it. No. Or watch it without sound. <laughs> yeah. 
I forgot to bring you my stumpy umbrella because it's like this. It was cool though. Okay. So we're gonna whip one up right now. Now you could use markers, you could use crayons, you could use colored pencils. Once again, whatever your super special grown ups say. So I have chosen my trusty crayons. With the broken black? With the broken black crayon in it there. It still works. It still works. Do I wish I had an unbroken black crayon? You bet I wish I had an Gee. unbroken black crayon. But you know what? It does work. And you know what? I do have a black crayon. You have two. I do. It's like a worm. <laughs> it's like a worm. <sighs> But I'm happy it's not a worm. So what I did first is I drew my outline of a cloud. And it's fun to draw clouds because they're not very precise. Now I'll get out my cotton balls. I don't know how many cotton balls you need. However many your super special grown up gives you to use. That's how many cotton balls you'll need. I have a real problem with cotton balls. Like, I have a... And some people have more than I do, but I have a sensitivity to certain things when I touch them. And, like, I can't... Like, I, it really bothers me when I touch cotton balls. Why? I have no idea. Like, it's just one of those... You know how, like, some people are sensitive to different touch... You know, feeling, you know, like, sensory kind of thing? I have a real problem with cotton balls. Like, it, it just... Do you need to put lotion on your hands? No. Like, when it happens, like, I literally get, like, chills up and down my back. Like, it's weird. It's it's gross. Is that heavy? Like, even right now, now I'm sort of, like, having a reaction to those. But I, I know it's ridiculous because I'm not going to touch them. <laughs> Sorry. I think, I think there's a show on the Learning Channel about people with weird things. Really? Not weird. Not weird. Different. Not weird at all. Yeah. Different. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what do you do if you have to put, like, peroxide? I can't. Like, I can't. I can't. I use Kleenex instead of cotton balls. What about Q-tips? I can't touch the top of a Q-tip. I mean, I can, do do but it really bothers me. Yeah. With my ears, I put, like, Kleenex on my fingers and, like, try to get in there. But I can't. <laughs> and then <laughs> the other thing my mom told me about. Try to get oh, in I don't want to. Move on. Yeah, yeah. Because this works, but you need a super special guy. Yeah, then to we're do not going to talk yeah, about it. Yeah, we won't talk about it. So I drew my cloud, and it, your cloud can be whatever shape. I get out my handy dandy glue stick, which is, oh, nice and moist and sticky because guess what? I always put the cap back. Yeah. So I'm going to glob up some spots with my handy dandy glue stick. And then I'm getting my cotton, and I kind of pull it a little bit, but you don't have to. And then I go like that, and I just smush it on there. And you know, you can feel free to really glob on your glue stick, but don't push too hard. Ingrid is not working <laughs> right now as I manhandle the cotton. Hey, that's okay. Here we go, and now we're going to glob on some more glue. Now, if you notice cotton ball fuzzies getting on your glue stick, that's just the price that you pay for making a cotton ball cloud, I would say. You can't get too wound up about it. See, I've got one stuck on my thumb. Looking at the Baby Yoda, looking at the Baby Yoda. Why is Baby Yoda in here? Uh, for math last week, we voted what was cuter. <gasps> Baby Yoda. <clears throat> Or Baby Groot. Baby Yoda. Who won? No one watched. Oh. <laughs> well, well, we should. I, I, and I worded it differently. I said which picture of Baby Yoda and Baby Groot because you can't tell, like, if they're which one. You know, we weren't really determining. If people felt one was cuter than the other, we were determining if the picture was. Because maybe I found a really great picture of Baby Yoda. And maybe there were cuter ones of Baby Groot well, out there. I just think Baby Yoda is because it looks like Baby Yoda is very huggable. Whereas yeah. Baby Groot looks very stabby. Yeah, yeah. Baby Groot does look very stabby. And I feel like huggable is something that you associate with cuteness. 
and stabby is not. Is not. Candy Corn Mom's here. Hello. I mean, I just saw her dropping her books off. Oh. Yeah. See, when you say here. It's really that, here. That, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there I've got, I've got my cloud. That's nice. Now what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to make some random raindrops. And you can make them however you want. You can put them wherever you want. Could you oh, make them any color you wanted? You can make them any color you wanted. I'm going to stick with blues because that's just the way I am. I'm glad I didn't exercise today because after this close encounter with the cotton balls, I'm going to need to exercise after this. But I appreciate it aesthetically. I don't want you to get the wrong idea. I'm not offended. I think it's lovely. Everybody has their This friends. was such a good idea. So here's some raindrops. And you know what? These are beautiful crayon raindrops. And maybe you have See, they paint are. at home or you have markers at home or you have whatever at home. You may even have a lot of random scraps oh, and bits yeah. at home. And so, well, I'm going to use these guys because they're easier to stick on. And they're very smooth. Now these I can touch. Now, if you are wild and wonderfully creative, maybe you could use other colors for raindrops. I am neither of those, so I'm just yes. gonna stick with my blue. You are in your own way. No, I'm not, and I'm okay with that. So you don't think it's okay to be creative in, in monochrome? <laughs> 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 Look at that. Always put that lid back on. Yep. Glue sticks are really a wonder. I think I underestimated them. If right, right, properly, right, 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 right. I cannot tell you how many glue sticks I've come across. It's sad. That look like this. Or lids that look like that. And they both look lonely. They do. Missing, I'm sorry, we can do that. I got it. I got <laughs> sorry it. Sorry about that. No worries. I was just trying to make a statement. <laughs> so now, my friends, I'm done gluing. Bop. Goodbye. I will put my unused cotton balls back in the bag. I will close the bag so when I put it away, cotton balls don't fall on anybody else's head. Or hands. <laughs> or, or hands. I never knew. Now that different. you know it can be a danger. Now I do. Trauma will ensue. Yeah. So I'm putting my things away because when you're done, you always put your things away. Yes. And last but not least, what else do I have to put away? Crayons. Crayons. So I put them back in the box because, Ingrid, is this week 20? This is 19. This is week 19. Yeah. How long have we been doing art? 17? Probably 17. 17. I can find out for sure. 17 weeks these, these crayons have held up. That is Not nice. lost the one. That's cool. Really That's nice. saying something. It really is. I would have probably had to start her with a new pack every week. You may have. <laughs> I believe that. I definitely think I would have. Yeah. There you go, my friends. Those are so nice. Rain clouds for whenever you're in the mood or on a rainy day. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do